This is the U.S. Constitution, Article 1, Section 4, and on this episode, I'm featuring an itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot section of the Constitution. So let's get started. The times, places, and manner of holding elections for senators and representatives shall be prescribed in each state by the legislature thereof. But the Congress may at any time by law make or alter such regulations, except as to the places of choosing senators. The Congress shall assemble at least once in every year, and such meeting shall be on the first Monday in December, unless they shall by law appoint a different day. This is a very specific section of the Constitution, and it's also pretty small compared to what we've been tackling. But let's break it down anyways. The first part of this section actually was pretty contentious. States were concerned that the Congress, if it had control, could keep the election so distant from the majority of people in the state as to be manipulated so that only those people the other Congress members wanted could get there to vote, or that the elections could be chosen by the legislature, as originally did happen for the Senate. This created actual problems of favoritism in the Senate the way it was originally written, and even bribing other members to get in up until 1913 when an amendment will alter this part of the Constitution. Basically, today, the federal government more or less stays out of the election practices of each state. There were fears that wholly handing over voting to the states could end in a situation where every state just voted to get out of the United States, and the federal government would have just been done for. But that hasn't happened. Yet. There were also fears of unfair registration practices or overzealous requirements to vote, which actually has happened and continues to be fought over. That's why the U.S. Supreme Court has determined that in extraordinary circumstances, the federal government can regulate state governments. Still, though, variations on requirements for elections, registrations, ways of voting, etc. do vary by state, and these can actually disenfranchise certain groups or make it harder to vote for some over others. This is an ongoing battle between states attempting to regulate elections without the federal government involved, sometimes unfairly, and the federal government ensuring that it protects people and their access to vote. The rest of this section is, well, way out of date. Originally, it was thought that it'd be really difficult to get everyone gathered up, because, you know, distance was a big deal way back when. It's now, of course, not so much, and most senators live and work out of Washington, D.C. most of the year. The framers were able to see, you know, things like future injustices, the way that uh, laws could be abused, but couldn't actually contemplate faster than traveling by horse. So even if it was difficult for all these guys to show up, they were required to at least once a year. Now, of course, they meet a lot more regularly. This video is brought to you by Caffeine Zombies. Coffee's so good, it'll wake the dead.